Hey guys, Dustin. I want to cover Shopify conversion tracking for Google AdWords. We get more questions about conversion tracking and more problems with it, I think, than anything else. So let me jump in and show you an easy way to do this yourself without an app from Shopify. Okay, so here we are inside AdWords. This is our dummy account for demonstration purposes. First thing you need to do is make sure you have a conversion created for purchases. So what you want to do is go to conversions. I've got one already set up, but you can just name it purchase. If you don't have one, you can just create a new one. You want to choose website. And then I'll go over the settings. This is where my existing conversion already has that information. So if I go here, the settings that we used are, you know, you name it purchase. You don't need to choose a category if you don't want, but we choose purchase sale. Uh, for value, you always want to use this middle option unless you just have one product that people only buy one of with one price, then you don't have to. But 99.9% .9 of the time, you will use this option, and that's what you want to do. So basically this tells AdWords, we're going to have Shopify tell AdWords what the value is for the conversion or for the sale uh, for that customer. If there's more than one product, there's more than one quantity. So the default value is $1. That's what this stands for. As far as the source, nothing we can do with that. Uh, conversion count, we want to count every conversion. And I'll show you how we avoid double counting with a little bit of a, little bit of a script from Shopify. Um, Conversion window is default set to 30 days. I make it the max. I don't see why you wouldn't want to give credit to an ad if it helped. Um, as far as view through conversion, we set it to the max 30 days. We always want to include in conversions. And when it comes to sales, attribution model, your default is going to be last click. Lately, we've been using position-based um, attribution. And that's really helpful if you have a big brand campaign or you expect to get a brand campaign um, among other things like uh, more paths in a or more clicks in a path to a conversion so we've just been defaulting to this lately that's why we like it um, there's another video on that on the channel about uh, brand campaigns and attribution so feel free to check that out if you have more questions about position base and why we're doing it uh, once we have that we hit done and then in your case you will see the tags pop up or you'll see these three options and we're going to choose this first option we're going to install the tag ourselves. that's the point of the video so at this point I'm going to just make the assumption that you don't have any global site tags on your website um, if you do if you've got like the Google Analytics global site tag Google AdWords and Analytics are now using the same site tag it's just you'll notice it says something different here which is Google AdWords and there's that code and it's got a different G tag here so it'll say UA dash and have your analytics profile number so if you have that already on your site you would just choose this second option and you would add this to the existing code we're going to not go that route and keep it simple and assume you don't have a global site tag and what you want to do is basically copy this snippet download it click it right here I've already got it stored and then as well as your event snippet now the way these two snippets play together is basically this global site tag goes on all pages similar to a Google Analytics tag as we already mentioned and also like the old way of doing remarketing where that tag would go on every page and now the event snippet is the part that tells Google a conversion is happening when when this page is loaded with the script so this works a lot like the old AdWords pixel uh, that you would do for conversions and you place only on the thank you page or the order confirmation page so once you have these two snippets, you want to download them. We're going to play with the value uh, in order to get in order to get Shopify to report to AdWords the actual value. Right here, you see that default one dollar value. So just pay attention to that, and we'll do that in just a second when we get into Shopify. So you would just hit um, you know done here, and it would tell you you're good to go. So the next step is going to be heading into Shopify. So give me one second. All right, so as you can see, we're in Shopify now. This is an old store from a couple of years ago, but great for demonstration purposes. First place we want to go is our online store. With 
theme section and then we want to edit the code of our theme and we're looking for the theme.liquid file and you can see right here in the head section we've added that global site tag so this is where that site tag goes and this is so we can get uh, this tag on all pages of the site uh, in the theme so that's where you're going to add that once you've done so uh, you can go ahead and hit save it's not going to allow me to save it because this tag is already there and then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to getting the conversion tracking to work so that's where we go into settings we want to go to checkout we want to scroll down to additional scripts which is this section here I will expand and I'll show you what's going on here okie dokie so what we have here is the global site tag again we want to add that here and we want to place that above the event snippet because the event snippet is has to fire after the global site tag it's a little bit of a pain in the butt if you don't know that and you can see what we did is we replaced where it said value one one dollar we've replaced it with the um, dynamic token for the order amount in Shopify so what happens is this code tells Shopify to fill in a, a number based on how much money that checkout was for that that uh, conversion was so this is what's going to tell Google if we made two hundred and twenty five dollars and eighteen cents that's going to replace this here in the code when Google reads it uh, transaction ID this is just a default you really don't even need it uh, I'm going to show you how we can do something to avoid double counting um, some people don't know this but when you buy a product through Shopify as a customer every time you go back to the order like the checkout page to get uh, status updates on shipping or your order it fires the tags on this page again so one way to avoid that there's actually a link I'll post uh, in this below this video is using this is from Shopify an if statement so that if people have accessed the page uh, the first time then these tags will fire if they've come back a second time or, or additional then it will not fire um, I realize that this may not uh, be a perfect thing you know maybe people are across the device I'm not sure how Shopify handles that but basically what you want to do is grab that code I'm just gonna put it this way and basically you want to add any pixels you want to fire only the first time above this end if statement and so we're gonna just do that right here so let's just say we want all these tags to only run the first time people hit a page then you can see we have them before the end of statement all right maybe there's some JavaScript you want to run on every single visit then you would put it down here if it's something to do with the page or anything else you want to run maybe it's uh, call tracking or something like that then you probably want that to run every time somebody visits the page so they call the right phone number something to that effect so hopefully this makes sense once you do this you hit save uh, what you're gonna want to do is if you haven't already used the Google tag assistant Chrome extension that's what we use to check tags and it basically confirms whether your tags are working or not I'm not gonna get into that on this video but basically after you've done this you should be good to go with your store feel free to do a test checkout make sure the value works properly things like that otherwise you are going to be in good shape let me know if this is clear enough if you have any questions and hope you enjoyed the video